Okay, today I'm gonna to be crushing bismuth. So bismuth is atomic number 83. In its pure form, it's about as dense as lead, so it's pretty heavy. What's cool is that bismuth has a pretty low melting point. You can melt it on your stove, and then you can let it crystallize, and it forms these cool stepping crystals. Um, it oxidizes on the surface and gets these bluish red colors on it, so it's really cool. But what the coolest thing about bismuth is, it's the most diamagnetic of any naturally occurring substance. So what that means is when something's diamagnetic, it means that it opposes any magnetic field that comes upon it. And so I have it floating in water here and I have a magnet. You can see that it'll just push it without touching it. It doesn't matter which direction, it'll always make it go the opposite direction. Okay, so bismuth, even though it is as dense as lead, it's a very brittle metal, so I'm expecting it to kind of shatter here. Let's see what happens. Okay, pure bismuth metal crushed by a hydraulic press. Three, two, one. Wow, so I thought that would kind of shatter like glass, but that just crumbled like sand almost. Wow. Wow, so that was actually really cool. Just flattened it out flat. I thought it would shatter apart because it seemed so brittle but it just molded into a flat piece here. What's cool about diamagnetism is that bismuth is the strongest natural diamagnet there is, but actually every substance is diamagnetic. Wood, water, anything. I'll show you. What I have here is a syringe full of water and I have my strong magnet. I'm not gonna touch the magnet too, I'm just gonna bring it close and it's get the water it's going to repel the magnet and get pushed. Kind of looks like you're touching it. Not touching Prove it. Prove it. Oh, there you go. Let's push it back. Not touching it. Not touching it. So water repels a magnet. It seems crazy, but it's actually true that an electromagnet has been used to levitate a frog. This is a picture of a frog floating, levitating in the air using one of the world's strongest electromagnets. I'll give a link to the actual video of the frog levitating in the description below. Hey, thanks for watching again. If you haven't subscribed yet, remember to subscribe. It's free if you didn't know that. And remember to like this video, comment in the comments section with what you'd like to see get crushed next, and I'll see you next time.